So for the 10 block name challenge project, um, for each of the letters, you're gonna choose and combine some combination of these 10 blocks to get those letters to do something interesting. What the letters do is completely up to you. Um, how you want to organize these blocks is up to you. You can use and you should be using a lot of these blocks multiple times. Not every letter has to use all the blocks, but somewhere in somewhere in the entire project, each uh, each of these ten blocks have to be used. So I'm programming my L. Maybe I want my L when I click on the sprite. I want my L to kind of move around the screen and then go back to where it started. So. A move animation is going to be probably best done with a glide. So I am going to note here that um, my X and Y for my L is negative 42 and Y is 19. So this is going to be the end position where I want the L to end back up. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag my L up here where I want it and I'm going to look at my new coordinates. So now my X is -196, my Y is 138. I'm going to drag my L over here and do the same thing. I'll just duplicate this block again. And this is X199, Y140. 199, 140. Duplicate it again, come down here. I'm at 202 and negative 125 and then maybe I'll just make it go back to its original spot so now when I click it it activates this and it goes through each of these sequences like that so there I used a couple, I used the when the sprite is click block, which are, you're gonna use for every letter. In this case, I only used my glide block. Maybe I want it, I could do something, you know. So. could mess around with changing the size and that kind of stuff too but that's just an example and then you'll do something similar with, like that just using these blocks for all of your other letters so um, for my R when this sprite is clicked um, you know you could make it say something or show and hide or whatnot um, just using the blocks that are available to you. So really just spend some time, and this is again a project just for you to get comfortable um, dragging blocks out and connecting them and experimenting, thinking like, hey, I'd like it to try and do this, see what you can kind of come up with. All right, there is no right or wrong answer as long as you have at least five letters and you've used at least all of these blocks at least once.